Like with any operation, this type of surgery does carry risks. And when you operate on the brain, the risk of a serious complication can be fairly significant. Having said that, surgery these days is much safer than it was 10 or 20 years ago. With this type of operation, there is a small risk of complications such as bleeding and infection. The risk of having a significant infection is less than 2 or 3 percent, but in some cases we may need to actually take either the battery or the extension leads or very rarely the brain electrodes out and treat the patient with antibiotics and then put things back a period of time down the track. The risk of having a stroke after surgery is fairly small, of the order of 2 or 3 percent or less. Most patients that do have some weakness after the surgery or maybe have some problems with their speech, they'll usually get better over a period of weeks or months. The risk of the operation threatening someone's life is very low, less than 1%. Patients at higher risk are the elderly, patients with problems with their blood pressure, patients who have got other significant medical problems such as heart problems or respiratory problems. Young patients, healthy patients, they don't tend to have the same risks as patients that have other medical issues.